Hello and welcome, today I am going to explain an American thriller called The Banana Splits Movie. Spoilers ahead, the film begins with a hit children's television series called The Banana Splits, which features four animatronic animal characters. Flegel the Beagle, Bingo the Orangutan, Drooper the Lion and Snorky the Elephant, as well as their human co-star Stevie. Elsewhere, a boy named Harley is a big fan of the series. In anticipation of his upcoming birthday, he wears a Snorky-like costume to surprise his sleeping mother, Beth. She tells him that they will celebrate his birthday tomorrow, and Harley finally agrees. After putting Harley to bed, Beth enters her older son Austin's room and confronts him about coming home late at night. He says he's 19 now so he's free to make his own decisions, but Beth is worried about him and just wants to make sure Harley's birthday party tomorrow goes well. The next morning, the family happily celebrates Harley's birthday. Austin gives Harley a small magic wand that can expand by pressing a certain button. Harley is even more excited when Beth and his stepfather Mitch reveal some tickets to a live taping of the Banana Splits show at Taft Studios. Since there are five tickets, Harley invites his classmate Zoe to the show. As they arrive, they all meet several excited audience members and staff, including show hostess Paige and her assistant Doug, fan couple Thad and Poppy, and aspiring young artist Parker with her father Jonathan. Paige announces that they are not allowed to bring their cell phones inside, but Thad and Poppy manage to smuggle a cell phone in without Paige's knowledge. Meanwhile, Harley sees the members of the Banana Splits riding in a banana buggy and excitedly runs into the street. Luckily, his idol Snorky manages to stop the vehicle and prevent an accident. Before the show begins, the four characters meet their creator Carl, who is disappointed in them since they had just almost hit a boy. Because of this, Carl decides to upgrade their software, starting with Drooper, while the others prepare for the show. Soon, Banana Split show producer Rebecca is looking for Drooper because the taping is about to take place. At some point, the studio's new programming vice president named Andy meets her and tells her that he is cancelling the show after the current recording because it does not match his network's vision. Long story short, Paige appears on stage and tells the audience to check the back of their tickets. If it has a star, the owner gets to stay after the show and meets the banana splits. Unfortunately, Harley doesn't have a star on the back of his ticket, while Thad, Poppy, Parker and Jonathan do. After a while, the recording begins with all the characters on stage except Drooper, who is still going through some updates. At some point, Austin tells the others that he has to go to the bathroom. Since he hasn't returned from the bathroom in a while, Mitch decides to check on Austin. Backstage, Paige confronts Stevie, who is expected to appear in the next scene. However, he becomes drunk and disillusioned with the show because the audience doesn't like him as much as the four animatronic characters. Shortly afterwards, Austin shows up and says he wants to talk to Paige. He then explains that it's his little brother's birthday and he's a big fan of the show, but he didn't get a star on the back of his ticket. Unexpectedly, Paige allows them to meet the banana splits after the show. At the same time, a drunk Stevie, about to return to the stage, overhears Andy on the phone talking about cancelling the banana splits show. Andy is then suddenly terrorized in his room and ultimately kidnapped by Bingo, who also overhears his telephone conversation. In the final part of the recording, Stevie informs Drooper that this show may be her last performance. Austin and Mitch finally return to their seats and everyone enjoys the show until the end. Afterwards, Paige reminds those who have a star on the back of their ticket to stay back while the others are escorted out by Doug. As the family is about to leave the building, Paige suddenly stops them and asks them to come with her to the banana splits. This obviously makes Harley incredibly happy, but Mitch leaves them with an excuse of important call. On the other hand, Stevie mocks his castmates out of frustration because their show was cancelled. Because of this, the banana splits new update somehow malfunctions, resulting in Drooper silently following Stevie into his room and eventually killing him by sticking a lollipop down his throat. Back at the group, Beth tells Austin to stay with Harley and Zoe while she goes looking for Mitch. The lucky audience finally has the chance to take photos with their idols. At some point, Jonathan wants his daughter to perform in front of the producer in the hope that the producer will recognize her talent. After Paige refuses to let her see Rebecca, Jonathan and Parker decide to find her on their own. Seeing this, Paige runs and tries to stop them, but this allows Thad and Poppy to live stream from other parts of the studio. Outside, Beth finds out that Mitch cheated on her with another woman. At that moment, Austin appears and confronts Mitch about not being a good husband for his mother. In the end, 
Mitch leaves without any regrets, but is watched by Snorky without his knowledge. On the other hand, Jonathan and Parker finally meet Rebecca in her office. He then shows off his talented daughter, but Rebecca doesn't seem interested and reveals that Andy's show has been cancelled. When Jonathan hears this, he leaves with his daughter and decides to find him. Meanwhile, Thad proposes to Poppy backstage during the live streaming, and Poppy accepts. Not long after, Flegel arrives and murders Thad by sawing his body in half. Luckily, Flegel leaves Poppy after hearing Harley and Zoe looking for Snorky. The kids ask Flegel to take them to Snorky, and he nods in agreement. Jonathan and Parker finally reach Andy's room, but cannot find Andy there. Instead, they find Drooper, who immediately burns Jonathan's face. Parker screams hysterically and tries to run away, but is kidnapped by Bingo. Meanwhile, Mitch goes to his car and notices Snorky trying to run him over with the banana buggy. He continues to run away, but his efforts are in vain as he ends up getting run over by Snorky. Beth and Austin go back inside and meet Paige, but they can't find anyone there. Because of this, Beth is very worried, even though Paige is trying to find the others. As Paige returns to the hall with Rebecca, a seriously injured Jonathan suddenly appears, collapsing on the floor and heralding the banana splits bloodbath. Rebecca quickly instructs Paige to call 911, but she finds that all the phones are unplugged and the confiscated cell phones are destroyed. Apparently Flegel takes Harley and Zoe to the workshop and locks them there with Parker. While Beth and Austin search for the children, Bingo captures Austin out of nowhere, but Beth manages to subdue Bingo. They then meet a distraught Poppy and persuade her to join them. Harley, Zoe and Parker eventually meet Carl, who believes his animatronics actions are justified by the show's cancellation and conflicts over the children's release. Suddenly, Drooper comes in and brings Bingo for Carl to fix, which causes Carl to become distracted enough for the kids to escape and lock him in the cell. At the same time, Flegel and Drooper approach Rebecca and Jonathan in the hallway and force them to take the sloppy time class. During the course, Flegel stabs Jonathan in the back with a key. Rebecca successfully completes the course, but Drooper beats her to death with a hammer. Looking for a way out, Harley, Zoe and Parker come across Snorky, who is still friendlier than the other three characters. So Harley successfully convinces him to help them. Meanwhile, Paige reunites with Beth, Austin, and Poppy, and they finally arrive at the workshop to ask Carl how to stop the banana splits, but he doesn't provide any useful information. Suddenly the group hears music coming from a hatch in the floor and decides to go downstairs. But before that, Poppy notices the mask of an unused fifth animatronic named, Hootie. She loses her mind, puts on parts of the costume, and kills Carl as revenge for Thad's death. As Beth, Austin and Paige walk through the underground passage, they find many bodies of studio employees and adult audience members, including Doug. They then follow the children's screams and eventually find Flegel and Drooper, who are holding all the children hostage while they carry out gruesome variations of their acts, such as burning Stevie's corpse and brutally murdering Andy by tearing off his limbs. Soon Snorky arrives and ties up Harley, Zoe and Parker, but secretly gives Harley the keys to free her. Beth orders Austin and Paige to lead the children out of the building before she attacks Flegel but Drooper eventually overpowers her. Luckily, Austin comes to her rescue by stabbing Flegel. Drooper gets up and tries to fight back, but now Harley comes back and throws his little wand at Beth, making her dagger Drooper. As Beth, Austin and Harley continue their escape, they are suddenly cornered by Bingo. Luckily, Snorky appears and attacks Bingo, killing him before dying from critical damage sustained during the fight. After the terrible tragedy, police and paramedics arrive to treat the survivors. At this moment, Austin and Paige finally begin a relationship, while Beth hits a badly hurt and apologetic Mitch and demands a divorce. Left in the parking lot, Mitch is run over again, this time killed by a now crazed Poppy, while the remains of the banana splits are left in the back of the vehicle. As she drives and sings the theme song, the banana splits, Flegel somehow reactivates and laughs maniacally. So, that's the end of our movie. If you've come this far, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. See you later.